Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see about the unit number 4 of tool engineering that is Jig and Fixture. Myself Jay Tedley, lecturer department of mechanical engineering KK Work Polytechnic Nasi. In this video we are going to see about the basic elements of Jig and Fixture and the types of Jig. So let us first we will discuss about the main elements of Jig and Fixture. So here we have a diagram of Jig and uh, elements of Jig and Fixture. It will indicate the uh, main elements of Jig and Fixture. Now we will discuss one by one. First one is body. So here we can see that it is a plate or box or frame type of structure in which the component to be machine are to be located. It should be quite rigid and sturdy. So here we can see that this is what the body of this Jigen fixture. So the workpiece is mounted inside the body. We have locating elements. These element locate the workpiece in proper positioning in relation with the cutting tool. So here we have the locating element. So this locating element, these are the locating pins with the help of this locating pins or locating element, we can locate the proper positioning of workpiece for doing any operation in the jig body, jig and fixture body. Then we have clamping devices. So uh, here we have clamping screw. So with the help of these uh, clamping devices, uh, the um, workpiece firmly secure in the previous or um, specified locator position. So this is what about the basic function of clamping device. So with the help of this clamping elements, we can firmly secure our workpiece in the specified locator position. Next we have grinding and setting element. These elements guide the cutting tool in case of jig and help in proper tool acting in case of fixture. So here this grinding and setting elements, this uh, jig bush indicate the grinding and setting element. It will uh, help the cutting tool for doing any machining operation over the workpiece in specified position. Then we have positioning element. These elements include the different types of fastening devices which are used securing the jig or fixture to be machined at the proper position. For getting the proper positioning, we need the positioning element for fastening purpose. Then last one we have indexing element. Uh, these ele indexing elements are not provided always but in many workpieces may have to be indexed to the different position in order to perform the machining operation. So different surfaces or different locations. In such cases, these elements will have to be incorrupted in the jig and fixture. So this is what about the main elements of jig and fixture. Now we will see the types of jigs. So here we have total seven types of jig. So first type of jig is template jig. So this diagram represents the template jig. Second type is plate jig, this diagram represents the plate jig. Third type is channel jig, so here this diagram represents the channel jig. Why this uh, jig is called a channel jig? Because here channel type of section are used to locate the workpiece in, uh, inside the channel. That's why this is called as channel type of jig. Then we have diameter jig, so here this diagram represents the diameter jig because it will hold or locate the diametrical uh, workpiece inside it. That's why it is called as diametrical jig. Then we have lip jig. This diagram represents the lip jig. Then next one we have a ring jig. This diagram represents the ring jig. And last one we have box jig. This diagram represents the box type of jig. So here why this uh, uh, jig is called as box jig? Because uh, in a box type of structure the workpiece is mounted for doing any operation. That's why this type of jig is called as box type of jig. So here Total we have seven types of cheek. Thank you watching for this video.